There are quite a few different approaches um, for this question. Um, one thing we can do is try and find length AD by using the cosine rule. Um, and the other approach which I'm going to use is I'm going to work out this angle here using the sine rule and then work out this angle here taking away from 180 degrees. Then when I've done that then I can use the um, trigonometric area formula. So I'm going to work out the fir the angle I marked first. So that is um, angle ADC. That's what I want to work out first. Now to do that, um, I'm going to call that, um, let's call it X. So it's a bit easier to write. So I'm going to use the sine um, rule. And that says that sine X over so this is sine x this is x here so it's going to be over 8 equals sine 110 over 12 and the reason it has to be that way around is obviously sine matches up opposite angles and lengths so it's going to be those two and those two so first thing I'm going to do is just times both sides by 8 so it's going to be sine x equals 8 sine 110 over 12. And then what I'm going to do is inverse sine both sides. Scroll down a bit more. So x is going to be the inverse sine of 8 sine 110 over 12. So let's get my calculator. So inverse sine, uh, fraction button, 8 sine 110, close the brackets, over 12, and then come out of the fraction, close the brackets. So that tells me that x is 38.789 blah blah blah. Now I want to keep the accuracy if I can, so I'm going to keep that in my calculator. And then what I'm going to do is add that to the 110 to work out what this angle here is. And I'm going to call that Y, so what is this? A, C, D. So I'm going to tell the examiner that A, C, D, I'm going to call as Y, just to make it a bit easier. So Y equals 180, take away 38.789, blah, 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 plus 110. So I'm going to add 110 to that, then I'm going to type in 180, take away the answer. So that tells me that y is 31.2104, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I've worked out what y is, which is good, because when you have a length, then an angle, then a length all together, then you can use the um, trigonometric area uh, formula. And the formula is dead easy. It just says that area equals half AB sine big C. So we know we, the problem is actually, we've got two triangles. We've got a triangle here and then we've got an identical triangle here. And it is identical because the um, diagonal of a parallelogram cuts it in half exactly. So what we also need to do is then times this by 2. Now if we notice that the half and the times 2 will cancel. So it's just going to equal AB sine C. Now I've kept that number in my calculator. So... I can use it with A and B. A and B are going to be 8 and 12. So it's going to be 8 times 12 times sine 31.2104, blah, blah, blah. So let's quickly use the calculator before it switches off. So I'm going to press sine answer, close bracket, times 12 times 8. And it says the answer is 49.7455, blah, blah, blah. 
let's have a look and see the accuracy that I need. One decimal place. So let's have a look. That's going to be 49.7. Now, if you didn't keep the numbers in your calculator and you rounded them, make sure you round them to four or five decimal places. So I would probably round it at least to three decimal places, but you normally want to go a little bit further. You might find that if you rounded it, you might get a slightly different answer to mine. Now, that's why you must show you're working out, because if you got, for, uh, say, 50 um, rounded to the nearest decimal place, or 49.8 or something, then if you can show you're working out, if you can show that you've done all of the steps, and the reason why you got slightly off was because you rounded some of your working out, you might get full marks, but you would get at least all but one mark for the question.